going on guys welcome to everything always my name is michael roman now alongside all of the news of toby Maguire and andrew garfield's return as spider-man themselves there's a fourth spider-man we reported on last week that may be entering the mcu rumors that marvel studios had already found and cast their miles morales and just recently an audition tape making its way around the internet and being taken down everywhere it was posted and usually guys when sony and or disney go out of their way to have a video taken down in multiple spots that's because because it has some legitimacy. We're going to break down a full description of the entire video, talk about what that may mean for the upcoming Spider-Man 3, including what might be a very huge plot spoiler, and of course why this sure looks like an audition tape for Miles Morales has been posted, confirming those reports that Marvel Studios has cast him. We're going to break it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill and our third and final Infinity Saga box set. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So to be clear, and as I said moments ago in the prologue, this has been posted in multiple spots and taken down in multiple spots, meaning wherever the NDA was broken, someone doesn't want this video posted. Either way, the normal spoiler warning, if you want to go into Spider-Man 3 completely fresh to the ideas that Marvel Studios and Sony have in store for you, you might want to back out now. We're not going to post any of the clips and or screenshots from the video. You can find them still on the internet. We don't want to risk them being taken down here, but we are going to go through a word-for-word -word description written by industry insider Charles Murphy. Quote, the two-part video begins with a young African-American man out delivering food for what appears to be his parents' restaurant. The young man is stopped by the NYPD because he's wearing some sort of Spider-Man gear. When questioned by the police, he states he's a fan of Spidey, but it's clear that whatever universe they're in that is taking place, being a fan of Spidey is not okay. This would certainly seem to be in line with where we would pick things up in Spider-Man 3 following the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. The second part of the video sees a young man first in conversation with his father, then his cousin. When talking to the second person, a breaking news report airs on the TV indicating that the costumed hero known as Spider-Man has been found dead. At a museum now before i let you take that all in and obviously they're not killing off tom holland this is where the hair on my neck sort of stood up because there's a major spoiler here for a storyline that might be adapted in spider-man 3 that falls right in line with mephisto a storyline called one more day where in an attempt to save aunt may's life he's willing to erase the memory of himself he also has to dissolve his marriage with Mary Jane, of course, Mary Jane not in the storyline yet. Either way, the erasure of everything to erase him from the story would fall perfectly in line with John Jonah Jameson revealing his identity after Mysterio pinned the attacks on him and then right in line with Mephisto leading into WandaVision and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, speaking of the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange could be responsible for this as well. So the idea that Tom Holland's Spider-Man and or Peter Parker would be perishing in the MCU, of course, would just be a ruse. It would be something to push the narrative further, but there's a good chance that if there is any casting for Miles Morales, as we reported in the rumors earlier last week, that this audition tape has some validity, and I think there were more than a couple of us who were surprised to hear that Doctor Strange would be filling that contractual obligation by Marvel Studios to Sony to always include a major Avenger. Then you think about where everything's going with WandaVision and Loki into the Multiverse of Madness. It seems like the reshuffling of the Phase 4 slate really lined up in Marvel Studios' favor, because if you remember, Doctor Strange was slated to come out way before this, even set to send to production earlier this summer, and then the shuffling with the director and Sam Raimi signing on, who knows what they were able to cook up in the meantime and then maybe rework all of these movies to work together even better than they already had to play out a much bigger storyline. The idea that Spider-Man Peter Parker would somehow make a deal with Mephisto in this movie, guys, Faustian bargains, of course, never working out how you want them to, but he's in a tight spot right now. Everybody knows who he is, so he's become a public target. We already know that there may be the inclusion of now Smythe and Spider-Man. Spider Slayers. Yeah, we haven't talked about that at the channel yet. Another rumor going into all of the Spider-Man 3 news this past week. We know that he may be on the run and being hunted, introducing Kraven and or who knows what other villains and that Scorpion
Scorpion is returning, his loved ones are definitely going to be in danger, so this collective bargain may seem like something he has to take. Of course, Mephisto wanting to prey on that the same way he's possibly going to prey on Wanda and her situation and vulnerability as well. Again, this seems like a much bigger crossover working out for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and I love the idea if they are going to bring Spider-Man in of the narrative being the reason for that, and certainly if you were going to have Miles Morales showing up in this film, killing off the original Tom Holland, or at least making it appear that he had, would work perfectly for that story. Remember guys, not a shocker that Miles Morales is already in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In fact, they confirmed it in the original film when we met his uncle, the Prowler, who was played by Donald Glover. Now I know if I've said it here a lot recently at the channel that I sound like a broken record, but industry insider Monkey Sutton and friend of the channel has said since day one, right after the re-signing of the agreement between Sony and Marvel Studios, that Sony has always wanted to do a Spider-Verse. And whether you want to buy into any of the industry insider reports, the rumors, or the leaks, just think about it logically. Sony's most lucrative IP, especially for a comparatively small movie studio like Sony, is Spider-Man. They just released a PlayStation 5 game title centered around Miles Morales. Of course they want Miles Morales in the MCU, and given the opportunity to bring back Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire or cast a brand new fresh face to play Miles Morales to match that video game release almost a year before on the launch of your brand new PlayStation, yeah, it's an absolute no-brainer. I'm not surprised at all that this is the most recent development in Spider-Man 3 news. Now guys, let me know all your thoughts and comments down below. I've heard a lot of great ones over over the last couple of days, the most common sentiment amongst a lot of you is you don't want Sony to screw it up and have a little faith in Kevin Feige being involved. And of course, remember that even though Marvel Studios is now working in titles like Moon Knight and She-Hulk, things we'd never thought we'd ever get in the live action or in the silver screen, Sony Studios gives us an opportunity to get other titles like Morbius the Living Vampire that I don't think Marvel would have ever had a chance to do. Either way, let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at 700,000 subscribers, which we are about to ding today. Probably announce that winner tomorrow. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment below, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane one-fourth scale Beta Ray Bill or our third and final Infinity Saga box set. We already gave two away here at the channel earlier this year. This third one will give away during December in the holiday season, regardless of subscriber count. If you want to be entered to win any of the prizes we give away all the time here at the channel, of course, I look forward to the day we're getting back to ticket giveaways as well. All the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you got to be a subscriber. Then make sure to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on so you can keep up with the videos. Leave a like and a comment down below. And because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. If you've missed any of the previous winner announcements, no worries. All you have to do is scroll back to the channel, look for a winner announcement and the sub count in the title. Click on that video and scroll to the end. If you want to follow me any further than already here on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram at I am fires or follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash novellin. My name is Michael Roman. This is everything always, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Channel. Stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.